Hello Gemini, welcome to a bonus love reading for singles. If you're single and looking for love, this reading is for you. We're going to be looking at what's coming your way in love, who or what can you expect, and what advice or guidance Spirit has for you on approaching love, preparing for love, all of that good stuff. So let's jump right in Gemini. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you watch this reading, that's what it's meant for. All right, so let's jump right in. Bonus love reading for Gemini, Spirit Angels Guides. Who or what is coming towards Gemini in love for my Gemini Collective? Who or what is coming towards Gemini Spirit in love? What does Gemini need to know about what to expect? Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with someone that has water in their chart. What else for Gemini? Who or what can they expect in love spirit? Creative, someone artistic, clever. They might be really good with um, painting, handyman, mechanic work. Um, anything that kind of, I'm picturing someone that's working with their hands. They might be an artist, creator. Let's see. What else for Gemini? Who or what can they expect in love? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, even in a singles reading, I always get past energies for Geminis. But this does not have to be somebody that you know in this lifetime. Okay, one more. One more energy, please, for Gemini. What can they expect in love spirit? My Gemini singles. What can my Gemini singles expect when it comes to love? This oh, I got two. Strong bonds. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. So this could be um, a very strong union, strong partnership, strong bonds between you and this person. We also have breathe in, meditation, healing, rest. Take time to meditate and relax your mind and body. I'm getting that this is not something whoever this is i like i feel like they're not going to be how what's the energy i'm picking up here it's almost like it's easy it's not difficult to communicate it's not difficult to connect with this person um and almost like you don't have to try so hard when it comes to them okay let's see spirit what guidance what messages can you give me for gemini What's coming uh, their way in love spirit? Okay. What's coming their way in love for Gemini? For, for Gemini. What's coming their way in love? Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, okay. And the higher font, Taurus Energy. Um, okay, this person's going to be very direct. I'm getting like um, someone who, I don't know, it's like they have a lot to say. Bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. So this could be somebody that perhaps they notice you or watch you from afar, but has not completely revealed their feelings. Because I get the sense with this Knight of Swords, like they're like, oh, you know, it's like pouring out of them. And the Page of Cups is almost like whatever they have to tell you, it's very honest, but it's coming from the heart. Now you could be dealing with a higher font, um, not a higher font, a Taurus does not have to be though, but the higher font does not play around. They don't um, take, they don't take things lightly, the higher font. Let's get some more insight here. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Death, Scorpio energy. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Ten of Wands. So whoever this is, maybe they were dealing with something difficult in their life. Maybe they ended a cycle in their life. Maybe there was an ending between you and this person. I see that as well and they want to talk about it. Whatever this was, this Ten of Wands, it could be something with you or something with um, that they were dealing with on their own. I feel like that's over. Um, you know, that this isn't a problem anymore is kind of what I'm trying to get at. 
Tell me about the Page of Cups. This Page of Cups could also be an apology. Why is the Page of Cups here? Three of Pentacles working together. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Yeah, the Three of Swords. I feel this is an apology. They could be um, telling you that um, they want to work things out with you here. Um, so you might have already had a history with this person, Gemini. This could be also like a friend as well. Maybe you didn't hit or well, what's that um, that phrase where you don't hit it off right on the like on the first foot? What is it? <laughs> There's like a phrase where it's you don't hit it off very seamlessly or like easy with someone. They might apologize for something stupid they said <laughs> when they weren't thinking. Tell me about the higher font. But for most of you, I feel like you've known this person already. Tell me about the higher font. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Whoever this is, they really thought things, they, they really thought about what they're going to um, do with you. So their approach, their intentions with you. Tell me more about the higher font. Again, this quiet energy. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune always, I swear, always shows up in a Gemini uh, reading. Okay, one more for the higher font. The Magician, oh my gosh, yes. So Gemini, I feel like whatever is happening here with this person, it was like meant to happen. Either you manifested it or they really worked on it. Whoever this is, um, they're very serious. This is not um, a player, like I'm not getting player energy at all. I'm getting like the opposite for some reason, especially with this Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords is not, they don't play around. So whoever, you could be dealing with an Earth sign as well with um, Virgo and Taurus there, but the Scorpio also showed up. Um, so this water sign energy makes sense too. I feel like you and this person, uh, the connection is very easy. So it's like you connect and it's you can feel it. Um, but I don't think that that's um, a coincidence. It's like things are very easy because you already have a connection or things are very easy because this person's worked on it to the point where it's a very easy connection. So for example, this could be somebody that let's say you work together and they hear you talking about a certain movie that you really love or a certain show that you're watching. Well, they'll go and watch the whole season. And then when they come to talk to you, they're going to talk to you about that show. And it's a very easy conversation. That's just an analogy, but that's what I, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Let's find out a little bit more about this person. What else do we need to know spirit about this person coming towards Gemini? What else do we need to know about this person, this connection? What do we need to know? Okay, I got a lot. Main male, masculine energy, message of concern, expectation. Oh my God. Mature woman. I didn't know I had taken so many. A wealthy man and family room. This is that comfort level with family room, that bond, strong bonds energy. Um, I feel like this person has been waiting to communicate with you or tell you like make a move um they have a lot to offer very serious energy here i'm getting like king of pentacles energy with these two um oracles here this could be somebody that you work with someone that has a good job or is just successful i don't know what this mature woman energy is maybe they think that you have you're more mature than them or uh, i'm not picking up like um like someone that's older necessarily here Yeah, it's it's almost like they're they're looking up to you in some way. Uh, feminine energy here. Yeah, for some reason they're like thinking that when they send this message, you're gonna be, or when they come to talk to you, you're gonna be like, huh? <sighs> Why are you talking to me right now? Or something like that. It's like they're thinking of the worst. Spirit. Can I get one more energy, please, for this magician? Can I get one more energy, please, for the magician? Just curious. Wow, Knight of Cups, definitely. This is some, something that either you've manifested this from this person, like maybe you already want someone like this person or have been manifesting a soulmate that you connect with on a deeper, intimate level where it's like the relationship part is easy. Um, it feels comfortable. It feels like home. 
or you've manifested specifically that this person that you already know is going to come forward and talk to you. Okay, so let's ask Spirit for some advice, guidance on how you should approach love. Any advice, guidance, Spirit, for my Gemini symbols on how they should approach love or how to prepare for love? What guidance, what advice do you have for Gemini? This is from my Stellar Guidance deck. Advice, please. Guidance for Gemini. The future is bright. And bottom of the deck, half faith. Beautiful energy. So yeah, I, I feel like whoever this is is coming forward, Gemini, there is a future here, a possible future with this person. Um, and it, it's somebody that's going to come forward in a very honest, direct way. No games with this person. Um, so that's what I have for you with this bonus reading. Hopefully you enjoyed it, Gemini. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, I would love to have you. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.